Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're dealing with your bottom end problems as best you can and I really hope that these videos are helping you make your daily lives a little bit easier. Before we begin with our topic today, it was greatly appreciated if you like and subscribe and place a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. I really appreciate you supporting the channel and the whole point is to give you useful and helpful information. So I wanted to answer a question from you, the viewer, and that question is, let me read it here, it was about prolapse hemorrhoids. Why don't they just go away? You know, why won't they just stay put, right? I push you back in or I deal with you however I know how, but they always come back and rear their ugly head into my life. And the answer to that question is not a simple yes or no. Um, I think it depends on the context, right? And the first thing we want to talk about is not all prolapsed hemorrhoids are created equal. Prolapsing hemorrhoids can be on the smaller side of things and therefore not potentially bother you as much. All the way up to the big hemorrhoids that are always on the outside. Those are always prolapsed out and they're probably very apparent in your life. So what does the word prolapsed mean? Prolapsed mean literally coming out to the outside, right? They are put out to the outside where they're not supposed to be. And we usually think, we usually use prolapse with uh, internal hemorrhoids only because external hemorrhoids, because they already live on the outside, don't come out to the outside. They just enlarge where they live, which is on the outside already. So the prolapse topic is really just for internal hemorrhoids only. So how do you know if you have an internal prolapsed hemorrhoid? What are the signs of it? You know, how, how do I even self-diagnose it? How do I call myself having that condition in the first place? Well, the first, con first clue is looking at the hemorrhoids with a mirror or with your phone camera, right? Take a picture of it, look at it, and see what kind of covering is over that stuff that's coming out to the outside. If it is pink, if it is wet and shiny, that is the inside lining of your anus coming out or prolapsing out, okay? And that is what I'm referring to. And prolapsing hemorrhoids are due to the internal size of the hemorrhoids being large enough to do that. You see, when we're all born, we all have hemorrhoids. They're part of our natural anatomic structure and their thing is, is that when we're born they're very flat they're very small blood vessels but as we live through life and we get into fights with each other instead of being friends these hemorrhoids they get injured over and over again and although they may heal from each of these insults they're not the same size they used to be after they heal from their inflammation, they're just a little bit bigger each time. And that's how they can pretty much get to the size where they may start moving around. They've got some bulk to them. You know, they have, and then the inside of the anus, I can see lots of folds of the inside lining because they've caused swelling of those inside folds. And then, when a bowel movement comes out through the anus, these guys can also come down with it. And then, of course, you sit down when you have a bowel movement, right? Or when you go poop. The blood fills the hemorrhoids, these blood vessels, and they get larger. So you may think that they may be big when you're just laying down in bed. But when you sit down the toilet, they expand even larger 
and can move even more because they've collected much more of a size. And these guys are very flexible and they're very soft and kind of spongy when you push on them, right? So it makes sense that if they got enough size, that's when they start shifting back and forth. Which is also why if they can come out, you push them back in and they go in, right? So sometimes you may feel great sense of relief when you're able to push them back in because they, oh, now they're not outside anymore, right? Now I've gotten rid of them. But the thing is, is that the size of them has not changed at all. You, what you're doing is you're pushing those hemorrhoids in and then you're squeezing that anus, right? Put your hemorrhoid in here, squeeze the anus, and now the hemorrhoid is caught there. You've kind of got it stuck. You're trying to hold it down so that it doesn't go anywhere, in or out. But some of you may notice that if your hemorrhoids are large enough, as soon as you stand up again, as soon as you get active again, the anus starts to move around and then the hemorrhoid may just slide right back out. And so the smaller the prolapse hemorrhoid, the smaller the amount of mass or smaller the fold, smaller the size of that internal hemorrhoid is, the less he's gonna shift around so much because they don't stretch, they just move wherever they're being told, kind of like ocean waves type of deal. So if they're small, you might be able to push them back in and then they're gone. You don't see them ever again until maybe you have the next bowel movement. Then they show their face again. And so you do that same routine of trying to push them back in to see if they'll go away. But if they're much larger, and it's a scale of things, it's not, it's a continuum. You've got small all the way to big. And the thing is that prolapse hemorrhoids, they all have one thing in common you have to have a larger internal hemorrhoid in order for them to be moving in and out like that, okay? So at this point, when you have the prolapse hemorrhoid, it's time, to, and they bother you, it's time to see, in my opinion, a surgeon like myself to have an assessment to see what are the best options for you because as a hemorrhoid with that size already at its when it's even when it's calm is not going to get any smaller it's going to stay that size and another point that i always want to drive home that's why the routine and keeping your stool soft and getting those good habits in especially having your doctor talk to you about those good habits is very helpful why because you see that the bigger the hemorrhoid the more problems you have so let's say you have a small prolapse hemorrhoid. Yes, yes, it sucks that they slide in and out and you feel them. But would you rather have that or would you and keep your habits good, avoid the hemorrhoid getting traumatized and hurt again? Or, you know, and keep things small because you know if, it, if that thing got larger, then you're going to have even more of a problem. The guy's going to be more swollen. You're going to feel him more. He's going to feel like he's really moving around and he can slide out. And so that's why it's important to really keep your habits and improve your habits so that your hemorrhoids stay where they are so that your life doesn't get more complicated. What's another factor with prolapse hemorrhoid in terms of them going away? So what, we just, what I just talked about is hemorrhoids that are calm and that's their new normal size, right? Whatever lifetime you've been through in terms of how much, you've, how much you guys have fought with each other, the new size or the size when they're calm really can't be changed. So you can't make those guys go, go away. What we want to do is keep them as small as possible. Otherwise, we may need to see a surgeon. But another thing I want to talk to you about is prolapsing hemorrhoids that may actually disappear. How is that possible? Well, 
hemorrhoids again when I like I said when they get larger they can slide around more right so when you get a hemorrhoid flare-up you've pissed off your hemorrhoids the hemorrhoids are mad at you so they were smaller before and before the flare your situation was let's say that they were not prolapsing you never had anything anything come out ever but then all of a sudden you had a hard poop and now all of a sudden your feel down there and because you, you felt something strange you say oh my god what is that thing sticking out of my butt you take a picture of it and it's this shiny pink thing that can be something that potentially may go away why because when you got constipated and you pissed off the hemorrhoid you caused the flare the reason why it got bigger is because of a inflammation you injured the hemorrhoid and then the body senses that injury sends the immune system to say hey we got a problem here let's fix this hemorrhoid but what does it do with that inflammation it creates swelling and the blood vessels get bigger and so that's why your hemorrhoids enlarge during a flare and so if they got bigger and you're just at the cusp of things moving in and out that flare may have just tipped you over the edge to now you have a prolapsing hemorrhoid but the good news is that in some some of those situations that prolapse hemorrhoid may not be permanent and so if you take care of that hemorrhoid give it what it needs apply the good habits allow it to heal that hemorrhoid will swell back down and then that guy may slowly you may gradually notice that all of a sudden one day it's gone it's like oh thank goodness right I cured myself of a prolapse hemorrhoid and so pat yourself on the back you did it but I'll warn you that the next time you piss off your hemorrhoid that disappeared prolapse hemorrhoid may come right back because you're repeating that cycle again it may get enlarged and then may prolapse again and so really your hemorrhoid is on that border between just enlarged no prolapse and enlarged now it's prolapsing so you've got to be careful you want to give those hemorrhoids TLC because they're right on that edge and if you can maintain them as much as possible you may be able to avoid having to have something done for your hemorrhoids well I hope this topic was helpful to discuss out loud for you and I hope it enabled you to get a little bit better understanding of prolapsing hemorrhoids and whether you can make them go away or not so the answer in the end is can you make them go away sometimes and um, definitely there are treatments that I can do in the office to help shrink down a hemorrhoid um, you know not necessarily surgery but it always depends on what I find and what the goals are that the patient needs and so all these things are can take into consideration to give the best outcome we want to give good results so I appreciate you listening I appreciate you liking and thumbs upping and subscribing to the video I appreciate you thank you so much have a great weekend take care see you in the next one bye bye